episode six so i'm finally caught up now we're gonna talk about the newest episode and i don't have any knowledge of future episodes so this i could really speculate without spoiling anything so of course in the last episode we got mari really accustomed to the town and more willing to go out so we'll have to definitely see how that plays out in the future so now we can go ahead and jump to the episode and of course if you want to watch this anime you can always watch on Crunchyroll. that's the main official stores but for ado, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. And if you remember from last time, Yone was on her stage trying to sing, and then suddenly, Mist, Evil, and all that stuff was taking over. So the girls decide, yeah, we should probably leave. And as they're leaving, they see something or hear something coming out of the bush. And who could that be? The girls scream as we see the thing come out, and it's it's just Rico. Yeah. So then Rico goes and apologizes for scaring them. And brings her to the library and of course she sees the light labs and she basically says, well let me focus on the light labs she starts trying to talk about what she's here for and then she sees mari's creatures and she kind of loses her mind again he's like whoa more animals i must investigate but they kind of shy away from her and chill with light labs and then rico once again loses her mind over how cute they can be but they actually get to real business to talk about how the calamity is really messing things up how the children are scared of the noises and how they want to fix that and they kind of want to see if Rico can help them out. Mari explains that the thing called resonance it's been something that they've been known for a while and passed on a family and they had a bunch of instances wrote down in that book so they kind of want to see if Rico can help out and the first stop they want to go to is with Daya it's because she definitely seems would likely have more history of the place Rico doesn't know if she's going to be any helpful in terms of coming, but then Yohan is like, oh, let's bring Lilats. And then basically that <laughs> convinces Rico to come just because she likes Lilats. So Rico brings her book to Daya and trying to explain what they've done so far. And Daya's like, cool, but you know, you shouldn't do this because it's very dangerous. And Ruby's like, whoa, you're being a little too much. And then Rico makes this really, really creepy face. When she sees Ruby because she's really interested. So Ruby tries to hide. But Rico chases her down. And Ruby pushes a base at her. And almost kills her. But don't worry. Everything's fine. I guess. Anyways the girls leave. And as they're leaving. This is where I noticed. These girls would make a pretty good group together. Like music wise. Just just. That's kind of feeling like it. They should make like a unit and sing a bunch of songs together. I think it would be really popular. But these girls were basically walking off to, to with each other. But then Rico's saying, I can't go. I don't need any memories. What does that mean? We don't know quite yet. But then Yohani has uh, come back the next day. And brings Imari. And they try to make sure that Rico doesn't leave. But she is continuing trying to leave. And the girl's like, okay, you know, we'll help you out. Go to the station. We'll walk with you. And while they're doing the walk, we notice some animals and some kids that are suffering from this behavior that's happening around this town. And as they're walking, Rico's like, you know, I, I can't be with you guys. I don't want to be with you guys. But then Mari's like, I, I get you, you. You feel like you're an outsider, but I'm more of an outsider than you are. And look where I'm at. And Yohani's like, I was also definitely feeling like that as well and I was not very welcomed by a lot of people and they're explaining that you know sometimes you feel alone and that you're an outsider and people won't like you so then Rico decides you know what let me tell you my story and oh boy <laughs> I bet it's gonna start like oh back when I was four years old and blah 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 but what she goes and explains is that when she was young her parents moved around a lot and she had to follow it and she would make some friends but quickly she had to say goodbye and that's why she stopped getting involved with people because why make friends if I'm just gonna move in a short time but then there's this dog which she found and she really liked this dog and it, she and really liking dogs out there but you know it's not her dog so she returned to the, the owner and you know the owner's really happy but she was kind of devastated because that was kind of like her best friend. And once again, she was lonely. So the big thing that we're getting from here is that she hates saying goodbyes. And you don't have to say goodbye if you never say hello. And that's why she tries to avoid other people. 
So, again, in a situation, that's why, you know, she doesn't want to get involved with them. But she did end up learning the love animals, and that's why she is a zoologist. But in the end, she doesn't want to get involved with people because she can eventually have to leave. And that's why she lied to these girls saying that, you know, I had to leave, you know, today. But they decided, you know what, I can be good friends with them and I don't have to leave. So they end up basically becoming good friends. So then this actually leads to a new song. Hey, dear my friends. So without further ado, let's get a preview of that song. And the title of the song definitely made me think of Thank You My Friends. I don't know if that's just me. But we kind of get a story of each individual girl and how they were struggling when they are young. But they eventually grew out of their shell and started making friends. And then we kind of go through each individual girl first, Johanna and Mari. Now Mari was, you know, feeling alienated. But then, you know, we had Johanna come here and help her out. And then, of course, then we go to Rico who was dealing with her pains and not wanting to get involved and we get the dog to come help her out and then following the dog we had Yohani and Mari who helped Rico come out of her shell. So it's kind of a nice visual story of how these girls came out of shell and became who they are. It's a nice gentle song and it's definitely something that's nice to listen to for sure. It's definitely interesting how, you know, we had the first segment being Johanne and then Mari and then Rico where they're the only ones singing, but definitely an interesting song for sure. So we had the song ends and, you know, the girls are all friends and they are having their sandwich together and they're like, I'm so glad we can be friends now and we are going to sing the mosque together and all that. Mari goes and says that she knows that we need someone who could sing residences to kind of help the village and who could sing well I guess it's gonna be Yohane so she's gonna sing a song to help save the day and we also learn that Rico decides I'm gonna continue with these girls and be able to help them out so that's like great well now we need to just get everybody to know each other better and then Ruby's like you know what we need to do girls night yeah so next episode is talking about what is a girls night great question we'll have to learn about that in the following episode I'm not a girl so I don't no, but I guess it's they're gonna have a party together, a sleepover, something like that. They're all gonna hang out, have fun. I don't know if they're gonna sing or not, but all that fun stuff. So we'll look forward to that episode and seeing what comes of that. So in this episode, we definitely get to learn more about Rico and how she has some similarities to the original Rico, especially with the dog story, which was kind of a I guess it's kind of a nice gesture because, you know, we have Lilaps, literally the name of the dog that we Johanna gave to the dog in that episode that we had where Rico found the, got the dog and took care of it. And, you know, initially she didn't like dogs, but when she took care of this dog, she learned to like him and start to really enjoy dogs. So definitely a lot of parallels. I don't know if I want to call it lazy or a nice parallel since it's very, very similar but it's there for sure. So definitely some parallels to the original. And we get to learn how Rico got, comes involved. And we literally got the pairing of Guilty Kiss in this episode. So I guess that, that's an interesting combination how it just happens to be that way. Of course, we didn't, didn't get it for other groups. But, you know, this is about Johanny, so... Yeah, I mean, this is the only way it probably happens. But I would definitely was curious to see. Because I know the song that we had, Hey Dear My Friends, is not actually a Guilty Kiss song. But it's a song with the members of Guilty Kiss. Kind of, kind of interesting. So I guess that's a something you gotta know. <laughs> it's a Guilty Kiss song, but not really. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. How do you feel about this episode and the anime in general going so far? And we'll definitely have to see what happens in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.